In this video, we're going to be using the uh, Bloom 110 degree uh, half cranked hinge, uh, the partial overlay hinge, along with a 9 millimeter thick plate to achieve an inset door on this frameless cabinet. So let's get right at it. To start with, we're going to attach the uh, half cranked hinges to the door. Now, I have a six millimeter boring distance here. I wish I would have done a five because when it comes to our little reveal, it's going to be tight fit with a six millimeter boring distance. Next, uh, we need the correct mounting plate uh, to get an inset door and the correct mounting plate when you're using a half cranked hinge to get an inset door is the nine millimeter plate. So that is the plate we're going to attach uh, to our cabinet. I always say that when you're doing an inset door that uh, your mounting holes here uh, should be uh, 37, the screw hole setback should be 37 millimeters plus the thickness of the door. I don't like that anymore. Uh, because I, I always have my door sticking out 1.5 millimeters. Um, but I don't have any choice on this one. I've already got it drilled at 37 plus the thickness of the door. So my door is going, uh, is, uh, my inset door is going to stick out of the cabinet uh, 1.5 millimeters. And now we'll attach the door to the cabinet. Uh, as I said, I wish I would have drilled the door at uh, f from the edge of the door to the edge of the hinge cup hole. I wish that boring distance would have been six instead of five because that makes a pretty tight um, uh, reveal here. And then uh, the other thing that I don't like, let me show you that. Because I, did, uh, because I used a 37 millimeters plus... Uh, the thickness of the door, I do have a, the door protrudes 1.5 millimeters from the cabinets. So from now on, I'm using th uh, door thickness plus 38.5 instead of door thickness plus 37. There's a couple of adjustments I could make. Uh, one of them is this reveal here is really tight because I drilled at 6 millimeter instead of 5. I could adjust that, but I don't have to. It's working just fine. What I do want to adjust is I don't like the way the door sticks out, how far it protrudes from the cabinet here, 1.5 millimeter. I'm going to make that adjustment. The in and out adjustment for the door uh, requires the use of a posi drive screwdriver, and that adjustment is right here. So I have to turn it, and I'm going to turn it so I get my full, full benefit from that. And then you have to do the same thing for the top. That's pretty nice. Still wish I would have not used 37 plus the thickness. Wish I would have used 38.5 plus the thickness of the door. Take a look at the drawing and you'll see what I mean. Where the green arrow is pointing there, that is showing a 38.5 millimeter screw hole setback. If I had done that, then I would have had the door line up evenly with the front edge of the cabinet. But as it is, I have it protruding 1.5 millimeters. <clears throat> now let's look at some of the other things about this uh, uh, demonstration. I used a 9 millimeter thick plate. You see that in the, uh, in the blue there. Attached, it, attached a half cranked hinge to it. And that gave me the hinge and mounting plate combination that I needed uh, to achieve an inset door. The fixed distance for a hinge and mounting application like this one is negative 7.5 millimeters. And since I drilled my door from the edge of the cup to the edge of the door at six millimeters, 
I'm going to have a 1.5 millimeter review, reveal. Kind of tight. I wish I would have drilled at 5. Anyway, there's the, uh, there's the setup for an inset door. And uh, pretty easy to do. You should give that one a try. Well, I hope uh, this uh, video was useful to you. And if it was, give it a thumbs up. Share it with your friends and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching.